Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about Rose DeWitt Bicator and her favorite beauty products that you can still buy today. I've always wanted to do a Titanic video and I thought it would be fun to do videos about different characters from movies and imagine what products they would have used during that time period. And Titanic has always been one of my favorite movies. I remember when it came out, I was absolutely obsessed. I think I saw it nine times in the theaters. So I'm a huge Titanic fan and I've always wanted to do a video about the movie so I thought this would be a fun way to talk about the different beauty products that Rose would have worn during this time period. Alright, let's jump right in and talk about Rose DeWitt Vacator's favorite beauty products that you can still buy today. So first, let's talk a little bit about the Titanic. So the Titanic was a British passenger liner operated by the White Star Line and it sank in the North Atlantic Ocean in the early morning hours of April 15th, 1912. After striking an iceberg during her maiden voyage from Southampton to New York City. Of the estimated 2,224 passengers and crew up aboard the ship, more than 1,500 died, making the sinking one of modern history's deadliest peacetime commercial marine disasters. And Titanic was the largest ship built by White Star Line. And let's talk a little bit about Rose from Titanic. So Rose Calvert was born on April 5th, 1895. She was an American socialite and later an actress. In 1912, she was returning to America aboard the RMS Titanic with her aristocratic fiance, Cal Hockley. However, during the voyage, she and third class passenger Jack Dawson fell in love. The voyage came to an abrupt end when the ship struck an iceberg and sank. Rose survived the ship's sinking, but Jack did not. She later married a man called Calvert and had at least two children. Well, my research started with this perfume. This is a perfume called Legacy 1912 Titanic, and this is a perfume inspired by Titanic and is a historical fragrance. It has a floral, woody, and musk fragrance for women and features hyacinth, lemon, rose, orange blossom, and violet. It's a really nice scent. I actually really like it. It was actually launched in 2012 for the 100th year anniversary of the sinking of Titanic through QVC. I found this one on eBay. And this perfume is based on the perfume vials brought on board by passenger and British perfumer Eldofi Saffield, and he was a famous perfumer at the time. He survived the ship's crash, but his scents remained on the ocean floor until they were recently recovered by RMS Titanic Inc. And these fragrances were then replicated for the QVC fragrance. And then I started diving deeper into that time period and I found a company called LBCC Historical Apothecary, and I wanted to find products that were historically accurate for, of the time and I happened to find a whole bunch of different products that Rose would have used during that time period. So I found a cold cream, and this is a Rose cold cream, and cold creams were very popular during this time period. And this one is from 1901. It works really well at removing your makeup, and works well even as a moisturizer. So I can picture Rose having this on her vanity. I also found a really nice eye cream. And this is a floral eye cream for wrinkles, and this one's from 1772, but I can definitely picture Rose putting this on her eyes, especially that night when she had that beautiful flowing gown. I can picture her wearing that. And they also have a flesh vanishing cream, and this is a rose scent. It's healing and soothing, and it's perfect for applying before you apply face powder. And a lot of these ingredients are popular ingredients that were used in cosmetics at the time. So this one has boric acid, glycerin, water, and rose. And these are all popular ingredients that were used in cosmetics at the time. So they're quite historically accurate, this Etsy shop. And then I discovered a uh, face powder. This is a 1908 rose complexion powder. And this is a beautiful face powder. It's a rice powder with rose and sandalwood. And it kind of gives you that porcelain-like look that Rose had in the film. And it would be historically accurate for the time. Rose's makeup look was very minimal. She just had porcelain skin. And I found this really beautiful tint for the lips. 
and this would be from 1857. This would be a historically accurate lip tint that you could see Rose using on her lips even at night for a subtle look. And then for a slight cheek tint, I use this Besame Rouge Apricot pot and this would be a nice little bit of color for your cheeks. And I can picture Rose using that. And then I also found this Bourgeois rice face powder and this is the vintage replica tin and th this was one that they made for the 150 year anniversary for the rice powder and i really like the retro look and i can picture rose actually using this as well so i thought this was a nice addition i really like the retro look of the rice face powder and then obviously this wouldn't be complete without rose's heart of the ocean necklace I found one on Amazon and it's a replica of the Heart of the Ocean. It's a smaller version so it's not as big as the real Heart of the Ocean, but I quite like it for a subtle look and it kind of has that Titanic inspiration. It looks very similar to the one in the movie, it's just a little bit smaller. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're a huge Titanic fan. And if you enjoy this series and you want me to do characters from other movies, let me know. I had a lot of fun doing this video and I think it would be interesting to try to do some other movies or TV shows, vintage ones, so let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this. Alright, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!